Because when it started, okay, we got to a position whereby you know the king and the pawn were like this, okay, and here. And if you're white, you can't force a win. You can try try and outmaneuver them, see, see if they go wrong, but you can't force the win. However, okay, however, if you arrive at this position, really good. White actually is winning. Unbelievable. Because the power of the king's force field can push the other king out of the way. Let's see. Because if he goes back, I'm going to come here. He should call it, you know, keep it opposite him. Um, wow. Maybe he goes to the side. I'll move to this side. Okay. Now look, look. Yeah, if he comes here, now I'll bring that. Look, the pawn can run almost through here. So, so maybe he'll go. I don't know. Whoops. Maybe he'll go here. I'll come here. Maybe he'll move back. Should I bring the pawn up again? Okay. Maybe he moved king here. Okay. Now just do it. Now I'm going to move the king in front of the pawn. Yeah. And wait and see which side he goes, because whichever side they go, go the I'm going to go the other, and now you can see the pawn's a runner all the way through to the end. So, if you are trying to win, if, if it's gonna, you're going to draw this as black, you don't want to get the king in front. If you're white and you want to try and win it, get the king in front of the pawn. You've got a sporting chance now, yeah? Because you've got the king, and the pawn is a little puppy dog on a lead, and you're going to lead it behind you like this, okay? Right? Use the, big, the king to knock the other one out of the way, and bring the pawn from behind. It's a little bit logical, because you really want to get the pawn to the end, don't you? And you think, oh, get down, get down. But no. Yeah, if you get the king first to push the other king out of the way and bring the little puppy dog behind you, yeah, then that's then the way to do it. A scary big dog. Well, uh, when you get to there, absolutely, big queen, that'd be excellent. Yeah. So there's some ideas on how to do. Oh, by the way, well let's do, let's do like one little we'll let them all sing here. Okay. If you have two pawns like this, this poor king can't stop both of them, Ugh. yeah? If, he, if I move this one and they go, oh no, I'm going to come and chase you, then you can send the other one down. <laughs> can't deal with two, no. okay? No, no, I'm going to come back and stop this one. No, I'm going to send this one down then. <laughs> so you just can't sprint it. If the pawns end up like this, Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's put this somewhere crazy. <laughs> he can never take the back one because as soon as he takes the back one, the front one runs. <laughs> whoop, whoop, come here. Not that far. <laughs> and he can chase him, and he's never gonna catch him. All right. So you have a. So you can never take the back one. They sort of help defend each other, don't they? Okay. Uh, what you'd have to. He can stay here, here, here. But I can bring my king and his force field up like this. Okay, here we come. Here's the force field. Shh. Right, now you, I've got a force field. See how I'm pushing the king out of the way? You know. Kings are really good pieces in the ending. Do you know what? In terms of fighting value, <coughs> king is worth about how many points? Any idea? Any idea? Like, how many? Well, just a bit, just a bit. Kings are really important, yeah? They're the most important piece. But they're pretty rubbish fighters. They can only move one square at a time. And yeah, what do you think? About four. Do you know what? Generally people they think they're not as good as a knight and a bishop. Yeah? You'd rather have a well think about it. Knights can jump and they move fairly well. Bishops can move a long way. But kings can only control eight squares around them, yeah? As a fighter, about two and a half. Better than two pawns, but not as good as three. Okay? Because, but they are pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it may well be. They're You've only got pawns and a king. Your best fighter might be your king. 
Okay. His best fighter in Endgames is the King. He's a pre. Well, I think if a queen. Queen's king. still better. Come on. If there isn't yeah. any but other. But he's quite a good one. Oh and guess what? You've always got one. Mm -hmm. Can't swap the kings off. <laughs> well, I have. <laughs> actually, actually, I did see that in a junior tournament. <laughs> they swapped the kings off early, and I gave it a draw. <laughs> Don't know where to go with that. So, so king, really, really important. Now, can I just say, attacking with the king in the end game, good. Yeah, use it well. If there's queens and horrible rooks and things flying around, be careful. What, what do you think about attacking in the opening with your king? Yeah. What do you reckon? <laughs> no? That's a really bad move. Why? Because, um, because the other king has got loads and loads and loads of friends. And yeah. his friends the whole army. Yeah. Do not go and attack with your king while there's queens and rooks and things around because you're quite likely to lose it. The last king of England to attack another king by charging with a few knights into the middle of the battle was Richard III. And somebody, somebody killed his horse from under him and he, he, he never got out of the battle. He was the last king to die in, in battle, all right? So don't do that. Don't send your king off in the opening, even in the middle part of the game, no. But at the end, he can be a really powerful, he can be your best piece, okay? Right, should we go and play some chess? Yeah. Best luck in the, good luck in the last round.